Martha Goodrich. I'm the Fly Fishing Guide, flyfishingguide.com. Um, I'm here today to uh, want to do this quick little video to show you how to uh, tie the alder sedge hog muddler. Well, it's it's going to be a muddler. Um, you can do it two ways. You can do it either with a muddler head, which is what I'm going to do, which requires spinning the uh, bucktail. Or you can do it with a, a hackle head, uh, a bucktail hackle, uh, you know, so you kind of spin it a little but not thick, so um, just to give it a hackle around the, you know, a little hackle around the head. Um, the ingredients we need, we're going to use black bucktail. Now this can be done in any color. I'm doing black, a black bucktail with yellow dubbing. I kind of want to give it the bumblebee look. Um, <laughs> after going out and having a bumblebee uh, come at me and I swatted it, landed in the pond, the bass came up and grabbed it. I said, yeah, here we go. We're going to do a bumblebee look, bumblebee pattern. Uh, I'm also using a size 6. This is a stonefly hook. It's got a little curve to it like a caddis would. This, this fly kind of is a combination between a caddis and a a muddler, so it's uh, it, it works quite well. Trout, bass, panfish. Um, I'm sure if you do it colorful enough, it would be great for um, uh, pike, musky, uh, even uh, even salmon, uh, steelhead. You know, pretty much any of those things. Um, we're also going to use black thread. I'm going to use hardest hull. Head cement. This is uh, this is kind of like a um, actually like a hard as nails clear fingernail polish. So I'm sure you could use that if, if you'd rather save some money. You know, um, I'm also going to use a hair stacker. Um, I think we'll get started. This is actually quite an easy uh, fly to tie. And like I've said before, it's quite versatile. You, you, you'd fish it like you would a muddler. Um, so, probably if you wanted to weight it, you could. Uh, or you could let it kind of float on top. Uh, that's entirely up to you. So, I'm taking my size 6 hook and I'm putting it in the vise. Now, I'm going to take this black thread and I'm going to start it right up here. And work my way back. Ooh, it looks like I better tighten this vise up a little. I want to go all the way back to the bend in the hook, just because that's where I'm going to put the tail in. I'll trim off this excess thread. You don't need that. And let's get this tighter. should do it. Now we take a little bucktail. You want this bucktail to be the, the little tail on the end of this hook, off this hook bend. You want it to be half the length of this hook shank. So we'll take a little bucktail. This I won't stack, it's not needed. It's just the tail. Tie it in right there. Give it a couple wraps around. And then I'm going to wrap it up a little bit up towards the front. See, I went tight with that so it flayed, um, spun a little bit. You don't need it to spin. So that means it's got to be a little more trimming now. But if you can get it all right up here, like so, and just turn it like that. Okay, I got a little on the bottom here, so I better get that trimmed off. Okay. Just 
a little bit more just to hold it in securely. Now I'm going to take a little more bucktail. This I have to put in the in the stacker. Put it in the stacker like so. And then we put it on the table. And then we pull this apart. And you'll see all this is stacked on the end and it's even. Now this here, you want just about the same length as that tail. Wrap it a few times around just to secure it and then let's snip this off. Like so. Quite easy. Then I'm going to wrap. Now, I'm going to take a little of this dubbing. Very little. It doesn't take much. I actually like to use natural dubbing, like rabbit, possum, um, but I don't have any, so I had to get, uh, so I'm, I'm having to use a synthetic, but synthetic will work too. So we just pull this out, you know, it's a very little amount, and just stretch it, and then you got to put it on. Roll it with your fingers on the hook. Now, some people will use a, a, a wax. You know, they take a wax and they'll either put it on the thread or they'll put it on their fingers to roll it. I just do it with just my fingers. That normally will work fine. Might not be as tight, but you can tighten it. So, it's not that big of a deal. And then we just take and wrap this around, like so. And I think this I got plenty on there, so I'm taking the excess off. And I'm going to just pull a little bit more out, because you do this three, four times depending on how long your hook shank is. I'm going to tighten this, then I'm going to wrap this just a little bit to tighten it up a little. There we go. Now, we're going to have to, we're going to use more bucktail. And once again, we got to stack it. And that's going on top of this yellow. So we cut that off. We put it in the stacker, like so. Pound it on the table to even it up, and then pull it out. Now this here, you want just a hair bit shorter than the last, and it's going right over that yellow that you just, the yellow dubbing that you just did. You trim off this excess. Like so. Easy peasy. Now we're just going to wrap a little more just, just to try and tighten it up. To try and keep that black right on top. Stretch out the thread a little bit. Give yourself some thread to put some more dubbing on. Very little. Once again, does not take a lot. Twist that on. And then we'll put that on over this. And 
I do a few wraps with the thread around after I get it on there just to tighten it up. Now we take a little more bucktail. Put it in our stacker. Pound that on the table. Open it up. Pull out the even ends. Put that just a hair bit shorter than the last one you just did, that you just put on. Tie that on. Trim this off. Tie it up a bit. Put a little more dubbing on. Very little. Once again, now that we've had two already on there, you don't need quite so much on this last one. But you want to make sure you don't go up too close to the head because you got to put a, the you got to spin the deer hair on the head yet. So we twist this onto the thread like so, and we start wrapping. Like so. Tighten it up by wrapping a little more. Just with the thread. Now, we're going to take this last bit of, well, this isn't actually the last one. We're going to take a little bit more deer hair this time. A little more bucktail. We're going to put this in the stacker. Pound it on the table. Open it up. Pull this out. You know, line this up so it's just a hair bit shorter than the first one. couple loose wraps like so and then tighten it and that makes it spin see how that's spinning out some of this. This is a little bit too thick down at this end. Now, I'm going to take another bunch of bucktail. This you really don't need to stack. So we'll put the stacker right away. Because this, what I'm going to do is just take this clipped end that I just cut and I'm just going to push that over the end of this hook, like so. Get it up so far. Get it up so far without poking yourself like I just did. wraps and then tight to give it that muddler that really really uh, spun head and we're going to pull all this back pull all of it back and try to spin ahead front of it. Like so. And 
I just keep wrapping until I get a good build up. Try not to get the get it over the hook eye. Now I need my whip finisher. We're gonna whip finish it. Two, three, four, five. Trim the thread. Now, a little secret that I do because I do not have a bead head on here, a little secret that I do is I take a bodkin, I stick it in the hole. before I put the head cement on. Once again, this is hard as hauls. Clear nail polish will work. Take this. And try to cover that thread that you just wrapped on there. This will lock that thread in. This head cement will lock that thread in so that it doesn't come unraveled on you. Wait a couple seconds before you pull this bodkin out just to make sure it's dried. Uh, it dries fairly quick. So <coughs> pull that out. Put that back. Now you got this mess. That's what it looks like. Just a mess. So what we're going to do is take this out of here. Here is your mess. I use a rounded uh, bladed scissors for this to start trimming the head. Just to give it that uh, muddler look. also take and try to cut the bottom off pretty straight so that this sits in the water, swims in the water pretty good. you have it. The Alder Sedgehog. It's a pretty versatile fly. I like fishing it. Good for trout, bass, panfish, um, this salmon, uh, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you could get a uh, um, uh, steelhead and um, um, muskie, a game fish. I bet you, you game fish would work. This would work good on big game fish. I did it the black and yellow. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's black and yellow. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you uh, Taking, uh, taking, uh, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. You can tell me what, uh, what type of materials you would use. This, the bait, like I, the, the, in the beginning, it's just bucktail and dubbing. Real simple. Two ingredients. Um, good for a beginner. And, uh, leave me some comments below. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.